catch me, I'll be on my mission. I'll be on my mission. Catch me, can it for this latest self? Catch me one day whipping in his benches. Catch me, catch me, catch me. Catch me, like we playing on on. Roll one, and you gon' sing along. Hey, sip some, and you gon' get your dance on. Catch me, catch me, catch me, yeah. Drowning in ambition now. Wait, turning all these tables now. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Couch Creatives. I am your host, Danielle, and I am joined by our co-hosts, Kalem and Tyler. Today we've got two amazing individuals from Cape Town Food Growers Initiatives. We've got Pawaz from Diplas and we've got Sean. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, thank you guys for coming to the show. Um, thank you for my co-hosts as well for like being here supporting. Um, it's a big occasion because we have someone like the two of you guys doing amazing things in the community and we're just happy to share your story, you know, we can dwell on some questions, important questions for the viewers to like get more of your journey. Before we get started, um, just give us a little bit of background with, um, of information about food growers. What is food growers essentially all about? You know? So the Cape Town Together Food Growers Initiative started in um, in March last year uh, as a result of the pandemic and the impact that it had on jobs in the city and a collective concern for food security. Mm -hmm. um, it basically started on WhatsApp and then quickly expanded and um, then a Facebook group was started and at present there's about 2,200 members, all individuals from the Cape Town community who are passionate about uh, food and farming and sustainable food systems and ensuring a long-term food system uh, for all, for everyone, uh, and a food system that doesn't destroy the environment. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's the beginning. So how for us, um, in terms of how did you get involved? Well, I was at the association called SEED and they are based in Rocklands. Mm -hmm. They at Rocklands Primary School and uh, I did a 15 week course, a permaculture course and I feel honored. I uh, remember I spoke to a lady called Sandra Daniels and she was my co-leader at SEED. And when I started it was actually on a public holiday. Oh, wow. It was on the 10th of 2020 in August when she told me that there's never a holiday where plants is concerned or if I should put it that way, crops, you yeah. know? So and today I can only thank the Almighty for that knowledge that I got from them. After that, so I hooked myself up with the Cape Town Food Growers and I felt very, very much privileged to be in that group because I know that a lot of people with a lot of abilities you know, and I very, very, very felt honored to be in that circle. I started with um, my crops last year when the lockdown just hit us. So I decided because I'm unemployed, what am I going to do to put something on my family's table, you know? And I decided that, you know what, I'm going to start planting my own crops. Uh, my leader, the person that taught me all this knowledge, he gave me a call and told me, I've got some chickens for you. And uh, I thought that that is all part of permaculture, you know, self-sustainable life. And the word permaculture also means life, mm. everything, mm. Yeah. you know. So what I'm busy trying to do is also my knowledge and the talent that the Almighty gave me is also that I'm a DJ. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do is I want to actually put it both together. Because on social media, if you go there and see the DJs displaying, you know, you look at the background, they're on a balcony or you know where they find themselves mm. and the image that I want to put together is look at that there is like crops at the background you know mm. the vegetables is there the fruit is there and I'm live on social media mm. you know and also being an example to my community where I find myself you know that is that is why I went into this mm. yeah I heard like, uh, that you studied masters. Mm. Tell us more. You're applying your masters. You're scared that you'll learn in tertiary institution to help you know, um, elevate the food growth initiative mm. with your knowledge and skills. Mm. And how? In what way do you? So first, I'll tell you what you studied and how you uh, applied that into. You. So in my background, I did an undergraduate in um, BCom, mm. so economics and entrepreneurship, and then I did a postgraduate at the Sustainability Institute in. Um, 
in philosophy and sustainable development. Wow. 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 And in particular, I looked at the food system of Cape Town and the food metabolism. So just you, as you have a metabolism in a in biology, we said, okay, the f the food system of Cape Town can be described as a metabolism because you've got things coming out and you've got waste coming out of the system. Um, and yeah, I started at the time of the pandemic, which was an interesting time to s study food because of the impact that the pandemic uh, would have on the whole food system. It was a huge shock um, because of loss of income, loss of yeah. jobs, and right. the food system is commodified, unfortunately. It's a basic right, mm. but if you don't have money, you're going to struggle to eat, you know, exactly. that's the reality, exactly. uh, which is so unfortunate. So it's not inclusive in that sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then the Cape Town Food Growers initiative just happened to coincide at the same time I was studying, and then I thought, aha, I'm going to look what these amazing human beings are doing <laughs> and how they share knowledge on this virtual platform with strangers, a collection of strangers, sharing knowledge surrounding agroecology, uh, which is basically farming with the principles of nature and with the patterns of nature yeah. and thinking of the soil and why the soil is important for food and thinking about water systems and how we can keep water in the ground um, and just looking after your, your community, your ecological community and your social community. So I don't know if that answers the question. Yeah, that um, answers the question. One, I'm going to follow up with sustainability. Mm. Um, do you believe that um, sustainability is enough to change the future generation? Do you think it's change the future generation? Mm. Who do you maintain? You know, mm. That's something I'm going to do. Yeah. So I think sustainability is a, it's a become a very mainstream term, which is good because it shows that people's awarenesses are shifting um, to understand that we have an impact on our environment and that has an impact on our society. So if we don't look after the environment, then you know our society is going to face the challenges. Definitely, um, definitely. But I would I would take it, uh, the next step and say we should not call it sustainability anymore because. Uh, the situation today, we don't really want to sustain that. Yeah. We want to regenerate and rejuvenate, oh, uh, which is a principle in permaculture that can be applied to you know social social thinking. Um, so re regeneration instead of sustain sustaining. Mm. You know, uh, what do we want to sustain? Yeah, you know, we should be wanting to really regenerate. Sure. At the latest stage, I was like, wow, this is so innovative. The fact that like during this whole thing that was going on in the world you guys would think okay cool like how can we innovate how can we be outside of this box you know how can we come up with new ideas you know and then that group being okay cool like let's go into you know um agricultural in the agricultural space we were okay like how can we sustain food questions you know all those questions start coming you know and like Definitely. the process to get to is like okay when it's like solid thought and i realized something really important you know that it takes um self-sacrifice you know to you know, so I'd love for you, for you guys to touch on it. Yeah, for sure. So definitely, like I said, I was at the association called SEED. And that is where I actually got all my information and knowledge from. Mm -hmm. I thought it's just of planting a seed and it will grow and it will give you a fruit. You know, <laughs> but it wasn't like that. It's very, very much hard work. Yeah. But the situation that I'm finding myself in is like a everyday thing. When I open up my eyes, it's at quarter to four because I've got chickens. So you'll hear the, that's your alarm in the morning, mm -hmm. you know? That's the time when I take, wake up. And also I never ever could have prayed for water, mm -hmm. you know, because we didn't have a well point. Remember that I'm unemployed, mm -hmm. you know? So what I'm busy doing, and it is actually permaculture, we make use of what we have, mm -hmm. you know? It's not like that that opportunity that you can go to a hardware store and you can just go buy that. Mm -hmm. You need to look around you and you need to see what you can do, whatever you can find here and make it happen. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do is in my community is that I actually want to put it out there to kids, education, you know, mm -hmm. there is our kids out there that never ever saw a chicken coop before. Yeah. And I want to take them to a chicken coop and show them wow. this is a setup of a chicken coop. Yeah. This is where the eggs 
is being produced mm -hmm. and that's how it looks because our kids they they don't have the idea mm -hmm. you know so we are trying to build a cleaner and a better ecosystem out there okay, so you know? for our viewers that don't know do you mind just telling us a bit more about the blast okay so basically i started like i said last year <laughs> I started with Diplas. The word Diplas, I decided I'm going to call it that name because if you get on that piece of property where I started, it feels like you're just in a totally different world because of the plants, the crops, the oxygen is more cleaner, you just feel relaxed, yeah. you know, and you get that farm vibe. That's why I called it Diplas. Yeah. The people in the, co in the area, they would ask, but um, listen to me, where is Fawaz? You will get him on the plus, mm -hmm. you know? So they know exactly where the plus is. Mm -hmm. And I want to put this place out there and just show the people that what you can do. Because a lot of people think that, oh, you can only plant on the farm, the mm -hmm. big farms, you know? People think like that, but you can do that. How nice it will be if you can walk to your garden and you can just go take out what you need. Yeah. It's gonna be organic. Mm. And it's your intake for your body. Mm. So it's a whole self-sustainable system, guys. Mm. So you're using the natural environment to sustain itself That's instead of using outside factors. Exactly. Mm. That's beautiful. And there's a word called um, permaculture. Is that the right term? That's the right term. And the word permaculture means life, guys. Mm. That is the word. So it's not agriculture, it's permaculture. It's like agriculture, permaculture that they put together. So basically it's like, you know, with agriculture, you get crops that you will plant. You will harvest it and you will plant the same crop again. Mm -hmm. With permaculture, you get like companion planting and you will try to change the crop because if you're going to put the same crop in the soil, you are draining all the nutrition mm -hmm. yeah. out of the soil. And that is what we are trying to do. That is what we're trying to get out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, got a, you guys got an award for you. For what, what did you do? How did you get the award? What do you guys do? What is so, team, about? team Mahali is a group of um, multidisciplinary um, young graduates uh, mm -hmm. across the fields of architecture, um, sustainability, and engineering and basically we came together to enter this competition in 2019 called the solar decathlon which was to design and build a net zero carbon house that was fully powered by itself and collected its grey water and used it for the, the garden and built it out of recycled materials so the main things that we used we used were shipping containers and wooden pallets. Mm. We also used over 7,000 plastic bags oh, wow. um, and then solar panels and an integrated water system. Mm. So in 2019, that's when we came together. And then last year, uh, the city of Cape Town ran a competition called the My Clean Green Home Contest, mm. which is the same concept as an off-grid house mm. um, at a certain budget. and the design that uh, the team submitted won and the city of Cape Town said okay um, as a prize we will pay for it to be built and showcase to just show that you can use recycled materials to build and um, yeah that's that's pretty much mm -hmm. it. And was it fully funded um, the Mahali team? So oh, you guys invested your own money to so we invested our own time or okay. into it, okay. um, quite a substantial <laughs> amount of time. But you know, if you want to achieve a dream, you have to definitely, put in yeah. definitely. You guys have an award, or you were all paid up. Yeah, it, it was great, great experience. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we got a lot of support from the from the industry um, because the city of Cape Town was on board. We could go to sponsors and say, listen, we're doing this thing. Do you want to put your products inside here? And we can benefit from marketing wow. together. Mm. Um, so the house is actually in Greenpoint Park now. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. It will be it's by the coffee shop. And oh, nice. I think it will be there for the next three years. So wow. you can go and stop by and check it out. Nice. Yeah, so uh, there's a coffee shop in Greenpoint Park mm -hmm. that you can go to and the house is on display there. Okay. And then also on social media, Team Mahali as well. Okay. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, where can we find you guys? Social media, Instagram, Facebook. So Cape Town Together Food Rose Initiative, mm -hmm. uh, Team Mahali, 
and for us yeah you can you can follow me on the plus mm -hmm. i'm on facebook mm -hmm. give it a like guys i also i'm on youtube i feel honored to be on youtube guys <laughs> so i've got the page there also called the plus permaculture guys mm -hmm. check it out there's a lot of stuff happening there guys and there's so much more sean yes. and for wives thank you for joining us today on the couch we really appreciate you guys i feel so enlightened i hope the audience does too